friends, Pastor Chester Hitchcock here of the Gospel Memory Course. This is the Gospel Memory Course for the Old Testament. The New Testament is completely finished. If you're interested in it, just search on my channel and you'll find the entire Gospel Memory Course for the entire New Testament. Every chapter is covered there. But this is the Gospel Memory Course for the Old Testament, and we're taking one book at a time and just a few chapters and a few stories out of each book because the Old Testament has a whole lot more chapters and will take a lot more time. These are just short videos and we're using ancient Greek memory techniques that were used by Plato and Socrates and Aristotle and, and they are very creative and the one that we're using here for the Old Testament is what they call the loci system where they locate bits of information in familiar places and lock it into their memories where they can visualize and see it. Then we are telling a story, a funny, silly, goofy story, because our mind remembers things in stories. We teach children bedtime stories, we read them bedtime stories, tell them fairy tales, and they grow up to tell those very same stories to their children. So our mind remembers things in silly stories. Also we're using pictures for numbers. Every number has its own picture. And rather than going through and giving you a list of all of those pictures and teaching you how to remember those pictures, which I do in the New Testament Gospel Memory Course if you're interested, in these lessons I'm just giving you the pictures for the numbers that we're going to be using in the lesson. Then we're locating them. If you were here for the first lesson, which was Genesis, and today we're doing Exodus, we decided to loci or locate it in a filing cabinet. Imagine that there is a filing cabinet. You can put that filing cabinet any place you want. If you want to put it in your office, or if you want to put it in your home, or if you want to put it in your church, or out in the garage, or the tool shed, I don't care. Put a file cabinet, and the file cabinet has five drawers for the first five books of the Old Testament. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. When you open the top drawer, you see the book of Genesis. And, and that lesson was the last lesson. If you don't have that, you might want to go back and review it. Today we're doing the book of Exodus and the numbers that we are going to use, the chapters that we want to remember a particular story from, is chapter 2, and two is a light switch. So when we turn on the light switch, we're locking into our mind something for chapter two. We're also going to want to remember chapters seven through 11. Now, each one of those numbers, seven through 11, have their own picture, but we're not going to use those pictures. I'm just going to refer to a 7-Eleven store. Now, if you're not familiar with the 7-Eleven store, depending on where you live, it's kind of like a sheet store or a Circle K. It's a convenient store. We're going to use 7-Eleven to remind us of chapters 7 through 11. Then we're also going to want to remember chapter 12, and 12 is eggs because there are a dozen eggs. Then we want to remember the number 14, the chapter for 14. 14 is ring, 14 carat, 14 carat gold. You might want to think of February 14th, but ring will be for 14, which will be for the chapter 14. We're also going to want to remember something in chapter 20, and the picture for 20 is cigarettes, because there are 20 cigarettes in a package. We're also going to want to remember number 25, and the picture for 25 is a quarter, because there's 25 cents in a quarter. And, and then also we're going to want to remember chapters 26 through 40, but I'm not going to give you pictures for those other than we will tie that together in the story. So here we go. If you open the top drawer, you find the book of Genesis. Close that drawer because we've already done that. Open the next drawer and it has actually an exit sign on the drawer. So as you pull that drawer out, what you want to do is turn on the light switch so that you can turn on the exit sign. That's going to remind you we're in the book of Exodus. But when you turn on that light switch, you happen to see a baby in a basket floating in bulrushes. That's because in chapter 2 is where you find the story of baby Moses put in a basket and in a bulrushes. And when you turn that light switch on, you see a baby in some bulrushes. So you hurry to the 7-Eleven store to get some baby formula. And when you get to the 7-Eleven store, it is closed and you cannot go in because there is a plague going on in the store. 
That's because in chapters 7 through 11 is where you find the story of the plagues upon Egypt. There is a plague going on. And the neighbor beside the store came out and passed over a dozen eggs over her fence for you to take to the baby. Why? Because in chapter 12 is where you find the story of the Passover. You turn and you ran back towards home and you fell into a mud puddle that was as deep as the Red Sea and you lost your ring. Because in chapter 14 is where you find them crossing the Red Sea. You get up out of the mud puddle, you hurry on home, and some friends are there taking care of the baby. And so then they ask you if you would help them stop smoking their cigarettes. So you told them, memorize the Ten Commandments, and that'll do it. <laughs> Ten Commandments are found in Exodus chapter 20. And then as they leave, each one of them gives you a quarter to help you build a sanctuary in your church. Because in chapter 25 is the command to build a sanctuary. And then it takes 40 days to build that sanctuary. From the giving of those quarters to the end of the building of the sanctuary took 40 days. Why? Because chapters 26 through 40 is the building of the sanctuary. There's the book of Exodus. So when you open the book of Exodus in chapter 2, you find Moses in the basket as a baby in the bull rushes. And when you run to the 7-Eleven store, chapter 7 through 11 is about the plagues. And chapter 12 is where you find the Passover because the woman passes over a dozen eggs to you. And in chapter 14 is where you find the crossing of the Red Sea because you fall into a mud puddle and you lost your ring. And when you get back, your friends have been helping and taking care of the baby, and they ask you to help them stop smoking cigarettes, because in chapter 20, you tell them to memorize the Ten Commandments, and they'll be able to stop smoking cigarettes. So the Ten Commandments are found in chapter 20. In chapter 25, is a command to build a sanctuary, because each one, as they leave, gives you a quarter, so that you can add it to the building of the sanctuary and then it takes 40 days to build that sanctuary because then from from there all the way to chapter 40 is all about the building of the sanctuary there are the points that you want to remember for the book of exodus chapter 2 is moses in the in the bulrushes chapter 7 through 11 are the plagues chapter 12 is a passover chapter 14 is the red sea chapter 20 is the ten commandments chapter 25 is the command to build the sanctuary, and chapters 26 through 40 is the building of the sanctuary. Now you've got Genesis and Exodus and memory points that you can remember to walk through those two books. If this has been helpful to you, give me a thumbs up. And also, if you've not subscribed yet to my channel, click on that subscribe button, ring that bell, and choose all so that you can get a notification the next time a video comes up. And I'll see you in the next video. God bless, and happy memory.